Welcome to a new video and in this video we want to check out uh, an iOS device against an Harmony OS device. We want to compare the software a little bit and want to really dig deep into if Harmony OS really is just a UI clone of iOS. So let's get started. So here on the left we have the iPhone XR or XR which is uh, running the latest iOS beta version of iOS 15 and uh, here you go unlocked and whoops uh, unlocked the, the Harmony OS device the Mate 30 Pro and uh, those are the two devices and what we can see here are similarities just like for example the icons <laughs> that look uh, pretty much the same with the same roundings that you can see here but the icons on the iOS are a little bit bigger I would say. Uh, now let's check out the widgets. We can see here one weather widget and we can see here one Celia widget. You can also go in here and you can see here that the widgets are pretty similar. What we can see here also is when we go to folders and we uh, just say okay we want to enlarge the maps folders for example we have such a folder here and that reminds me a bit of the app library that you have on iOS as well where you can directly start for example uh, Safari here from the um, library and you can also do here um, maps.me for example from the folder so this is pretty similar as you can see here in terms of how it works when it comes to adding new widgets this is what I can do here shrink this and I can move it around. When it comes to adding new widgets, it's a bit similar, it's a bit different here. So what I have to do on iOS is long press on the desktop, everything starts to wiggle and I can then go in here in this mode and choose my new widgets that I want to add, as you can see here, for example, from my photos library. And here I have a different option. So if I, I am, for example, in here and have my music widget, I can go in here and say pin this widget and this will be then pinned in here. Of course this is the new method on Harmony OS. Of course you can also do uh, this and go to widgets and then you have the option to scroll through the list of widgets. In my opinion this is like a very old method. You only see three widgets at the same time and uh, yeah maybe Harmony OS in the future should update this to a nice list like on iOS. Uh, so this is one options, option that you get to add widgets. Uh, when it comes to overall user experience and movement, for example user uh, UI experience, you have also very similar things. Like for example if I switch, if I swipe down from the top left corner I get to my notifications and the same goes on my uh, Huawei device, Harmony OS, also notifications. As well from the right I get to my control center and the same also on Harmony OS and you can see how similar it looks in terms of controls as well. The only big difference is that we have now four controls here on iOS and we have two controls here which are the main controls I would say. I can turn off Bluetooth for example or I can turn it on. I have also the arrow, so if I click on the Bluetooth here, I can see all my Bluetooth devices. This is something that is a bit hidden on the iOS. I only have those buttons to enable uh, or disable Bluetooth, for example. If I want to scan for Bluetooth device, I have to press and hold longer, then I get a bigger icon, which tells me also where I'm connected to. This is something that this one does automatically or shows you directly, has a space to directly show you connected Bluetooth devices or uh, even Wi-Fi devices. And then uh, I can also only turn off and on. What I have to do to see my Bluetooth devices is press and hold longer again and then it will list all Bluetooth devices that I can connect to. And the same goes for the Wi-Fi as well. For privacy reasons I'm not showing you all the Wi-Fi's around here. But yeah this is a bit of cumbersome user interface but you can see that it's similar but it is in a way different. What is not different and you can see clearly that um, Harmony OS was inspired by Apple is the media playing widget. If I click on it here I can click on it as well you can see pretty similar. We have this uh, top right corner where we can choose which device to play on and we have the same here where it uh, just shows where the sound output is going to. So this is pretty much the similar and very similar uh, design in this case. What is different are the controls for volume. Here we don't have volume control 
and uh, the slider for the brightness. So here we have a slider for the brightness and here we have also a slider for brightness which is like horizontally aligned instead of vertically aligned. And we have some other switches here as well. We have the new focus mode for iOS 15 and we have of course uh, torchlight and some other things which is also hiding in here but we can also extend this we can also edit the icons that we want to have on the harmony s device so we can uh, go into the edit mode here and say edit switches and then we can edit all the switches and add some new switches into this panel and menu but this is pretty similar as you can see here. This looks a bit like a combination of the iOS control center with the Android possibility of quick toggles, uh, which I think is pretty good. Then we have some uh, very interesting new super device option on the Harmony OS, I already told you about it. And my MatePad Pro is like uh, now here and I can, if I want to, I can connect my MatePad Pro to my uh, Mate 30 Pro and then create a super device. So this is this. When it comes to like no SIM, both so show the no SIM symbol uh, connected to Wi-Fi on the same side and the uh, battery percentage just like activated NFC and so on. Um, when it comes to settings, let's go into settings here. You can see the settings icon is almost the same. We have almost the same layout at the top. We have Huawei ID or Apple ID. We have uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity and all the other connectivities. We have home screen and design changes. Uh, we have also the focus mode here. We have sound and other stuffs here as well. So you can see it is pretty similar, a bit more dense on iOS, but uh, also with this uh, colorful icons at the left and the text at the right. I have to say I like the, the um, Harmony OS way a bit better because it's like letting it a bit more space and big, bigger, bigger font to read all the options. And here I think there's a bit convoluted options on iOS. The animations you can see, let's go into settings again. It's pretty much the same. Also closing animations is the same. Uh, maybe I bring down this icon. No, I want to just move it here exactly so I can show you at the same position so it might be more immersive I it's super fluid I don't see much of a difference it's super fluid so you can see uh, in terms of animations they are almost the same also the top animation here also there's the same little jiggle at the end yeah, I think it's pretty much the same when it comes to this. Um, what else? We What do we have else? We have like a swipe down option here to search and get some suggestions. We have the same for Huawei, but for Huawei it always takes a second to load. It's not as fluid as and direct as on iOS. As you can see it's, it's directly there as if it was always there hiding in the background. And here it takes like, ah, it takes a second to think. And especially if you don't use it a lot, it is like, needs to relaunch and then it takes like a little bit longer even but it also has suggested apps at the top gives you some history as well most searched apps and even top searches uh, that are currently uh, running on the internet so this is an option when it comes to keyboard for example let's go into here i can show you the keyboards i have now the celia keyboard here enabled what we can see here a big difference is that apple for some reason has like this bar at the bottom uh, and the whole keyboard, the virtual keyboard is moving up for some reason. And uh, yeah, you don't have this here because we have dedicated uh, language chooser or language change button here. Uh, is it changing actually the language? I don't even know. Yeah, it is changing the language. If you press once, it changes the language. And here you get a menu to change the language. So yeah, this is um, in terms of keyboard, the difference. And yeah, this is basically everything. What we can see here is that, uh, of course, here I don't have any newsfeed. What we can see here clearly is that uh, Harmony is definitely inspired by iOS with certain things like the control center definitely copied over, but improved in a way just like you can single tap to go into your Wi-Fi, single tap to go to your Bluetooth devices and switch between the devices. And uh, yeah, combination of the Android quick toggles as well as uh, other new features that you can see here. In terms of animations, both run fluid. And I would say I don't see much of a difference. Both have 60 Hertz displays and you don't see much difference in terms of fluidity. Uh, they have uh, both, there's no 
a swipe up gesture or something like this. Both use the gesture to switch between open application. You can see they have slightly different ways of uh, switching applications, but you can see it is also the same blur in the background and same nice animations going in. So it is very interesting, very similar indeed. So if people say that Harmony has copies or clones the uh, iOS um, UI, it is partly true in most ways. They are definitely inspired by it and improve upon it using some Android um, and their own kind of uh, additions to it. So this is basically everything for this little comparison between iOS and uh, Harmony OS in terms of UI and user experience. Um, write down in the comment section what do you think is Harmony OS an UI clone of iOS or just very heavily inspired by iOS. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.